Hey everybody, it's Sean from Our Vision Nomadic Living. And recently I was contacted by Jasmine at Torque Lift and they offered to send me a new set of RV steps for our trailer. I was pretty excited about that because Angie and I had been looking at new steps. Our trailer, of course, is six years old. We've been living in it full time for uh, over four years now. So the steps have had a lot of use. They're starting to rust a little bit. They're getting more and more difficult to put in and out, even though I've been lubing them up. And we've actually had a piece, uh, one of the supports break on it. But let's get going on this. I'm really excited about this change. I'm hoping that the aluminum steps are going to be so much easier and convenient for us because in our travels and the way we travel, I'm generally the one that's the first person in the trailer. So it's me trying to muscle these stairs out. So I'm hoping this will be good. And then on the flip side of that, when we get ready to go some, to go somewhere else, I'm the one that's the last to leave and trying to fold these up and push them back in. So it will be nice that I don't have to interrupt Sean's routine and go, hey honey, come pull out the stairs for me because I can't. <laughs> so the measurements that are required when you're trying to decide which set of steps that you're going to order from Torque Lift is you have to measure the distance between the, the cutout here and then you want to measure from the threshold to the ground when the trailer is level. So when I did that, according to the fitment chart, I needed to order the A8003 three-step system. Now I spoke with Jasmine on the phone because I was a little bit concerned that I was going from a four-step to a three-step. She stated that if necessary, I can always get one of their out of steps if I feel like the space is not right. But we're gonna go by what the fitment chart said and we'll see what happens. So what you're seeing in these three boxes is, of course, the new step assembly along with a shim kit and a dirt destroyer which means that we can get rid of uh, our little shoe scrubber that uh, we've been carrying around for years lose a little bit of weight there as well so let's see what's in these boxes Ta -da! i'm so excited well now we'll start to doing some wrenching so step one is to remove this little safety bolt that they've put in here for transport on the other side is a safety pin uh, that you want to install before you transit uh, that, got that done I've got to remove these four carriage bolts so it takes a 9 16 I'm going to reach up under there and take care of that real quick Ta-da! No fingers were mashed in taking that off. Oh boy! That is a lot heavier than that one. Just broke out of sweat doing that. Alright, now we gotta fit this one into the spot. They sent me a shim kit in case I need it. Tell you what, this is probably half the weight that other is you want me to come over and help you put that up in yeah it would it would probably be helpful i have to decide whether i need the shims in yeah i'm gonna need a shim i'll just lift it up and see if you can stick one side in and then the other from underneath it like this see? Go okay up. go up it's in it again okay I'll hold it. And now we just need to get one in the back. There's two. Well, first off, I'd like to thank Angie's dad for giving me a hand. Four hands on this project were certainly a lot better than two. Also, I would recommend that if you have some way of supporting the stairs while you're bolting them in, it would certainly make it easier than trying to just manhandle them or muscle them, for better use of a term, I guess, in this day and age. Anyways, pretty excited about this. Now, the way, of course, you deploy them is uh, pop this pin out, which 
you put in for when you're in transit. So then you just, just uh, lift this bar up and pull them out. There's a, a step there. Of course, you can come all the way down here. And then it's literally just a matter of scissoring those out. Pretty awesome. It's pretty easy, even one-handed. You scissor them back in, up like that, lift the bar up, <laughs> put them in. So the three-step uh, is obviously functional with our trailer, but uh, after using it for a few days and having some discussion, Angie and I went ahead and contacted torque lift and they are going to send us an add a step because we camp so often in areas where the ground is not level because we spend a tremendous amount of time boondocking up in the canyons in the western states and I think having the four step for us is going to be preferable in the long run um, although again certainly functional right here and these are little glow in the dark pads Pretty awesome. I do think that Angie and I are going to go ahead and put a small carpeted piece here. So, so far we're really enjoying it. I think, uh, I think that we've saved about 50 pounds in weight. It can't be exact on that because I haven't weighed the ones that we took off. But I can tell you what, uh, these are significantly lighter than the stock ones. As Angie said, she's usually the first one to actually get into the trailer when we get somewhere. So let's see uh, how you'd make out with deploying these. They go really quick. So there you have it. Was that easier? It was a lot lighter. A lot lighter. And are we safe to head down the road yet? No. No, what do you have to do? Shut the door. Put the pin in. There you go. Don't forget to put the pin in. Yeah. <laughs> have a oh, it has a little button. Yeah. And the pin goes in. Because if I look in the mirror and I see those bouncing around down on the side, then we'll know you forgot to put the pin in. I won't. <laughs> that will be the walk around check. Okay. Yeah. Got to get the foot foot stepped. The foot planted. No more springboard action going in and out of the trailer. Wow. I just like that they're lighter. So I've already mentioned in my discussion how we've... Uh, been utilizing these for a few days now just to kind of get an idea and and we've decided that we do in fact want the fourth step do. you want it you want to explain why well currently we're slightly nose down so having them barely fit means they'll be short if we're nose high at all yeah so and there's often times when we're camping that we, that we end up in terrain where we're nose high exactly and uh and I'll, although I'm sure that they'd still be functional, um, we want the uh, the ability yes. and uh, to have that. Versatility. Yeah, there we go. We want the versatility of having that fourth step. So, so again, my suggestion is, you know, uh, when you do the measurements, if you already have a four step, you're probably going to want to order a four step. Right. Um, if you have a three step, three steps may work fine. And and when we get that fourth step, I will do uh, another video showing how to install that. But I think I want the little carpet runners I still think for dog can... debris to help cut down on. Like... Hey, but but we have the dirt destroyer. We do. Want to show how that how easy that is? Yes. Yeah. Right on there. Easy peasy. We did have a separate one, so this is very handy. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Torque Lift, for reaching out to me. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Well, if you haven't already, please dance with our red button and follow our journey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.